So hello everyone, welcome to Programming Knowledge. In this video, we are going to see how we can implement a tab bar and tab views into our Flutter application. In the last video, we have seen how we can implement the bottom navigation bar. And not only bottom navigation bar, but the custom bottom navigation bar. So please check out that video also. And without wasting any time, let's move on to today's topic. So in the last video, we have created the bottom navigation bar. So let's just start with, let's just remove the bottom navigation bar for now. So, okay, it's done. And also the tab bar, just save it and go back to it. Now you can see we only have the tab bar right now. So let's just add the tab bar. So to add the tab bar, after extending it, we want to implement the ticker provider state mixer. Okay, after adding that, we need to, um, okay, so after that, we need to add Okay. So it is basically the single ticker provider and not over here like we want in the state class basically. So we will write a single ticker provider state mixing. Then we are going to write a tab bar. And also, now whatever we need, that is, we will need an init state, very first. Then, we will need the dispose method. Okay, so we need these two methods. After that, just below the index, I am going to make one variable for tab controller. So, it should not be capital. So, let's just give the tab controller. And it will take the, like, just give it now. Make it the late initialization. We will initialize this later. So just the tab controller. So in the init state, we are going to initialize it. So tab controller equals to tab controller. And the length should be the length should be same. I will keep it three only. And in the missing, you have to write this. And done. So this is done. Now we also like we don't need this part. And one error is that like basically we are getting the error because we don't have to need the implement. We have to use the with keyword and that's done. So like on the dispose, we have to dispose the tab controller also. So this much is also done. So in the app bar, we are going to add the bottom and over there we are going to add the tab bar. So just add that and we also need to add the controller and what is the controller? The controller which we created and it will ask for the tabs. So let's just give the tab, tab um, so the tab is done. It will ask for the icons. So I am giving the icons. And I will give the icon as home and the color should be white. So is done. And we have to give the required like the icons which we needed. So we need the three icons as I have the three screens, the add one and the four. So just save it. go back to a class and over here now you can see we have three tab bar icons so like it's switching but the thing is that the page is not like switching from one to another so let's go on that also and start with that before that one more thing like uh, in the icon like in the tab widget we not only have icon we also have a field called let me show you the text 
and over here you can write the text you want so i'm just going to use this for now home and home just over here it should be add and over here it should be contact save it go back to it and now you can see we have the icon so over here like you can also see that in the child property we can use this also like if you want we can use multiple fields like we have multiple option to use over here so like i don't need the like i don't require the text fields basically that's why i'm not in like not going to use it or else you can go to the label style and in the label style you can use the text style over here you can use the color and give it a white so that all the labels will get white so like only the selected labels get white so how to make the unselected labels also just write unselected label color to gray let's just give it a gray or green color like we are just using whatever color we are liking so let's just give it so the unselected color are basically green and the selected one are white so this much is done now what we are going to do next so in the body part instead of this we are going to write tab bar view basically tab bar view and in the children it will take the tab views the tab bar view basically only if not, it should not take the tab bar view it should not take like we just we can just pass the class which we have like the all the three parameters and also the third one and over here in the tab bar view we also need the controller and the controller will say the tab controller okay it's done now to save it go back to the app and by the switching now you can see that the tab is switching from one to another you can also use the drag method so by swiping also you can go from one face to another just as i am going right now so and we can also do like now you can customize as yourself like whatever you like to do in the tab bar we can also go for this one just uh, unselected label style is completed so we need the label style so like i have already told you about it so like we don't need it and enable feedback so like we have them just let me show you something this one the thing which i was going to say is that indicator size basically so what the attribute it will take it will take the tab bar indicator size dot let's just name it label and save it and now you can see that the size of the indicator is increased basically as per the label size now you can see it is changing and you can also give the indicator a color so i am going to give it a white so now you can see it's the white one and let's just not give it to the label we can use and give it to the tab this is more good now like you can see it it's taking the whole space the tab is covering so this is the more perfect one and now you can see like we are, can switch the tab and we are also decorating a tab bar so if you want like we can give the indicator paddings like the same thing which we gave in the other so we can also give the divider height let's try this also and let's give it 10 save it go back to it and now you can see the divider height is increased so like 
right now you can't see what is divided so just give the divider color and i'm giving it in black okay and same so now you can see so in the green one it is more visible this is the basically the that black line is the divider so you can do one thing you can give it zero so that there should not be any divider right now so just see this there is no divider so you can do this also so basically there are so many items like so many things to play with you can do same doc you can also go for the documentation on the flutter or you can like go with the animation you can go with the feedbacks if you want you can just write the true and go back to it and like when you are clicking on the add contact whatever you like you will get so instead of throw just click give it false and check what is happening what is going on if you don't want it or if you want it you can go for it so right now instead of enable feedback like you can also visit there are so many things you can go the physics the scroll physics basically or as the on the on tap of the basically on tap of the icon like you can see over here like just me show you if index so what it will do i'm just showing you so scaffold dot messenger i'm going to use the scaffold dot messenger dot show the snack bar so it will give me the snack bar and i'm going to use the text field and over here i'm going to use the basic one you just write the selected tab or instead of selected tab just write index if index equals to zero if it is index zero go for home if it is not zero like if it is one go for add and if it is not one go for contact basic one like the basic condition i condition i'm using over here so let's just go with it go back to our app so now according to our logic whenever i'm clicking on the add one so a scaffold should come and tell us that this is the add page so basically it is saying that this is the add page and now you can see this is the contact page and now you can see this is the home page will become so that was for today's video thank you